This year we wanted to preserve some vegetables from our garden. Uh, however, we currently have more weeds than we do vegetables. So we bought some corn from a local farmer and we're gonna show you the whole process on freezing corn so you can enjoy you know, that fresh corn on the cob all winter long. And I definitely recommend doing this with some family or friends as you know the extra hands definitely make quick work of it. So we're boiling for about four minutes and then once that goes off we throw it in here in the cold water. Um, I believe this is what is referred to as blanching. So just want to cool that down quick um, and then we can start cutting it off for the freezer. So the corn doesn't have to be submerged in water right there. It's obviously not all in the water but it's just going to steam. You got that lid on there. It'll start steaming. So you just keep rotating. Putting corn in this pot, once four minutes is up, goes in the water. This will be done here shortly. It's going to go in the water, and we'll just keep that up. We got pap all over here, cutting the corn off. So, one thing you'll want to remember is never cut towards yourself. But, sometimes, Papa does it. when you get a little older, you're kind of set in your ways. So, he's being careful though. So you're basically you're just going to cut the all the corn off and then you you run your knife back over you kind of get all that good stuff out of there um you just make sure that you don't cut too deep in there otherwise you get in the cob then you hand it to gavin he eats the rest and then you can have somebody that eats the last couple pieces off of there i need the rest that's my job i want that So we're doing, we're doing cut corn, which is the whole kernel is cutting it off. But this right here is a creamer if you want to do cream corn. Um, it's not what we're doing, but it'll be fine in here. Just wanted to kind of show you what you do. And you basically just run it up and down this. And it's going to cream your corn. So you can kind of just see how it basically smushes all that stuff out of there super easy does it look like mush coming out of there yeah. Easton? Yeah. yeah there is just mush yeah well that's what cream corn is mush oh, it's splashing on my face looks disgusting but good because like but you just got to watch your fingers you don't want to get your fingers down in there that'll take the skin off pretty easy oh. it's okay if you leave any extra eh? mm. hey you're doing better with papa i know i know don't tell papa Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at he's got Come he's back. got a quarter inch difference. You don't cut away from yourself, Ryan. I'm telling you. Hey, the trick is to once you get all over the sides, mm -hmm. then take on the tops and just cut the extra. So daddy did this one. He left the extra on the ends for me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets done first loses. Get this piece east. Of, no, this one right here in my hand. Okay, that's good. Put it in the refrigerator. So we have two of these containers. This is a 18 quart container. They're probably filled about 12 quarts. There's two of these. There's another container like this that's in the refrigerator. Uh, that's 
probably 10 or 12 quarts as well so just real quick math you know that's 30 to 36 quarts out that we got out of 10 dozen corn now, i don't know if that would always you know be that number but that's what we got this time so this went you know once we took it out of the boiling water uh, put it in the the ice bath then cut it then this all went back in the fridge to continue to cool you want it to be completely cooled before you're uh, putting it away in the the freezer so and then we took the corn that was in this and dumped it into this container and the reason for that was there's a lot of good juices a lot of flavor that all goes to the bottom so we put it in here that way we can stir it around and it just kind of evenly distributes it would have been harder in here you know kind of uh stirring it from the bottom to the top just much easier in here so we'll get packaging these and and see what it actually turns out to Three and a half. No, slow down, Easton. Not a race. Yes. I think it is. No. Mm -hmm. Apple's losing so far. <laughs> He's <laughs> so we're just putting this corn in Ziploc bags. Uh, we've used different freezer bags in the past, but this seems to work pretty well. As long as you don't get a bunch of corn when you're trying to seal it. So you can just lay it flat and kind of press down on it. And that'll squeeze most of the air out and then just finish sealing it there at the end. And then you've kind of got like this flat brick, so it's really nice for... Storing it in the freezer, um, you can kind of stack them up, um, put them in a box, do whatever you need to do. Uh, so, pretty convenient. Uh, again, you just kind of seal it partially, uh, almost to the end, and then just start, start from the bottom, work up, and just push that air out for the most part. This one here had a bunch of juice in it since it was towards the end. And then once it's all sealed, just kind of make it flat. So one thing I didn't mention earlier is, I mean, you notice that we did it outside. So this isn't probably something that you want to do inside. There's corn flying everywhere the whole time. So it would make a pretty big mess in your kitchen if you were doing this inside so i wouldn't recommend that i mean you could but you're just going to have a lot of cleaning to do um and then also we used propane uh burners that just get your water boiling super fast so that's also something that you should be trying to use if you have that available again your oven will work just fine if, if that's all you have so we did end up, uh, now that we're finished, these, these are quart Ziploc baggies. So I measured out uh, four cups in there, which is a quart. Um, I don't know that off the top of my head, I had to ask and look that up. Um, but yeah, so there's exactly a quart or four cups in each one of these. And we ended up with 30 bags. So 10 dozen uh, corn we got uh, 30 quarts out of it so basically if you uh, you're just gonna get a dozen you're gonna get three quarts out of it and and so forth so you can see how nice this stores inside the freezer this isn't the freezer we're gonna keep it in we have a big chest freezer but just sticking in here for now uh, that way it can stay flat our chest freezer isn't quite quite disorganized I mean this doesn't have anything else in it so just get it in here it'll freeze solid and it'll move from here into our chest freezer but you can see that's a lot of corn and it doesn't take up much space at all start to finish was less than two hours so this is something that anybody can really do appreciate you watching please like this video subscribe to our channel 
and leave us a comment if you got any questions.